Easily? Yeah. On camera? Yeah. Oh, wow. Interesting. Yeah. How was your second scene since you said your first scene oh, turned you scene off? Oh, second scene phenomenal. It was my bang bus scene. The only, like, bummer about it was just it was hot as f- But oh. as far as crew, everything else. You were like, in the van? In the fucking van. They don't and have they, AC going in there, They huh? can't run the AC because of the cameras? Yeah, but, I mean, we're shooting more than, like, chilling in the van, so the AC is off when we're shooting. Oh, Lord. That shit wow. is loud. In Florida? In, in Florida, in the summertime, bro. But it's so hard to feel sexy when you're sweating. <laughs> At a certain oh, point, when God. you're filming the bang bus porn scene, though, like if everybody's drenched in sweat, that's bad for the footage, right? Man, I, all I know is I know I know better next time. How Hair sweaty? How sweaty something. could we get on this before somebody would be like, "Okay, you're too sweaty. I can't jerk off to this." I don't know if the hmm. audience would necessarily think. That it's gross. If I'm glistening, dumping sweat from my forehead, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they had an opinion about that, right? Yeah, I don't think we'd ever get that sweaty. It's very nice and cool in here. Yeah, thankfully. Touch it. Um, okay, so you've been doing this for a few years now. How, how like, wh- what do you see yourself doing with all this? Are you more focused on OnlyFans or are you more focused on doing stuff for companies? I like both. But I like OnlyFans a little bit more. I want to... Um... Maybe in like a year or so, I want to start my own brand and have like shoot everything in film. Maybe probably end up quitting like pro and just doing OnlyFans, just the site, everything film. Mm. Dying for it. Making pretty art. That's dope. Like Do you, it. um, when it comes to you being Syrian, how do you approach that? Like, would you, like, Mia Khalifa obviously is like kind of the person that everybody kind of looks at as mm-hmm. like a role model for middle eastern porn stars she's gotten mm-hmm. so much hate are you kind of nervous about inviting that kind of attention or no because i feel like i'm learning from her mistake plus i wasn't really planning on doing that mistake anyway right i prefer to not blame like i don't want to bring no politics and no religion into my porn or my work period right so i feel like sinner is the most like i'll go mm. but that's it but other people want you to bring it in. Oh, yeah. I'm literally every single fucking day, people are asking my agent, a hijab scene, a hijab scene. That's what I was just thinking. I'm Fans like, are tagging me. You have to turn like, that down specifically? Yes, bro. And sometimes, like, I literally sit there and argue with people on Twitter because you, like, how in your right mind do you think that's okay? Like, I... Yeah. And but- keep in mind, I was, I was like, one of 20 Christians in the, in the city that I was in when I was in Syria. Oh. So, like, I was pretty much born and raised around muslims and we have um every year of your school you have to have a religions class and it's muslim because uh islam because the majority of the country is muslim and i would i wouldn't have to do any work my parents would make sure that they tell the teachers like yo she's we're christian she doesn't have to learn this and the teachers would respect it they would give me the uh, the time like for free for that class but i would say and i would just pick up and learn and i respect the religion so i don't feel like i should do no fucking hijab scene right but they would, and they wouldn't do, want any other religion to necessarily do it. They just want to do it because it's like a fetishization type mm-hmm. of like Arab people. Yeah. I mean, listen, if I'm a porn producer and there's a girl who grew up Mormon, I'm probably going to be like, "Hey, let's have somebody bang you with a crucifix." Just because, like, but I do mean, they do that. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know if they do, but it makes sense to me the same logic by which they do the hijab thing. But that, okay, this is the main thing too: is it's not somebody like me who's jerking off to the hijab yeah. scene, right? It's mm-hmm. going to be dudes who probably are from that religion, right? Type. Who get turned on by it because yep. it's like the ultimate forbidden mm-hmm. fruit. And the Arab fan base for porn is fucking insane. It yeah, is. all of my DMs are in Arabic. Yeah. And, and I feel like I you, don't speak Arabic or read Arabic. You haven't even really like put yourself out there like that. Like you don't really yeah. advertise. I don't because I don't want to invite hate. Like I I have emails saved in my email under like a harassment folder of people like borderline threatening to kill me because i'm armenian and i've said that i'm armenian so i just feel like you know if you decided to play on religion and Mm -hmm. porn you would get the it would invite the same kind of Mm -hmm. hatred and you never know how crazy someone's gonna get with that exactly you know okay the clip you just watched was from plug talk which is my adult podcast that i do with len of the plug where every week we interview a different girl and then we get nasty so if you want to see the full thing only plug talk.com five dollars for your first month Appreciate y'all.